The nation's leader addresses the growing concern about a clash of the general election date as the countdown to the May 10th election is underway. Good evening, Bahamas. I'm Altafiz Munnings, and welcome to the Bahamas Tonight, the National Report. Good evening, everyone. I'm Keish Latterly. Thanks so much for joining us. Well, topping the news tonight, since Prime Minister the Right Honorable Perry Christie announced the May 10th general election date, there's been outrage surfacing from some sectors of the community who have taken to social media. The May 10th date is also the anniversary of of the sinking of the HMBS Flamingo. Four Defense Force Marines were killed on that day. As Clint Watson tells us tonight, the Prime Minister is addressing the controversy. It's become the latest issue that formed public debate, the announcement of general elections on May 10th, the anniversary of the sinking of the HMBS Flamingo in 1980, where four Marines died after being attacked by Cuban MiG fighter jets. Some say it's a sacred day on the calendar that should not be touched, while others argue that there is a lack of reflection by the Bahamian community, particularly in these modern times. Prime Minister the Right Honorable Perry Christie says by no means was the intention to overshadow the significance of this day in Bahamian history. I want to make sure that everybody fully understands that we have not diminished the meaning of the sacrifice of the young men and that, in fact, if anything, we want to even do more to memorialize them. The Prime Minister says there was a whole lot that went into determining the May 10th elections, particularly after the off and on dates for Carnival. ZNS News understands that the intention may have initially been to hold elections on Tuesday, May 9th, but after Carnival dates were finalized from the 4th through the 6th, an additional day was given to prepare for general elections. The nation's leader pledged to ensure that the memorial of the HMBS Flamingo is not left in the distance on election day. It's a date, but I propose to attend um, the function. Butch Cavalla is going to attend the function. I propose to lift the function up and, and speak to it and give it meaning. And hopefully, whenever I speak to it, notwithstanding the fact that it's election day, people will understand fully. The election date controversy is just the latest in what has been heated exchanges between political foes over just about any and everything. Speaking at the 19th Urban Renewal Uplifting Service, the nation's leader used the opportunity to once again encourage the Bahamians during these campaign times, protect our democracy, calling it precious. In the coming weeks, our candidates must respect each other. We must be able to demonstrate that we can have elections as we've always had peacefully without violence, without hatred, without any kind of manifestation that is dangerous to our democracy and our stability. You are the people who are the custodian of that. That has been the way you have gone about doing things. Social media is playing a major role in the run-up to the general elections. Everything from memes to voice notes and heated postings have been at the center of campaigns, making it difficult to decipher truth from lies and real news from fake news. The Prime Minister has not escaped the attacks and criticisms, but using a favorite New Testament scripture to put on the full armor of God, he declared that he remains focused. I don't care who says what about me. I don't care how critical they are. I don't care how nasty they are. At the end of the day, I have to have the faith that God is good, God is able, and God will always be present. I have to believe that. And I have to believe that he will work through all of you. And at the end of the day, you will decide on what is best for you. And so the nation's leaders are encouraging Bahamians to remain respectful to each other and to respect each other's differences, knowing that after Election Day, we must come together and move forward as a nation. Clint Watson, ZNS Network News.